hey guys welcome back to another vlog so today is monday and i'm just quickly getting ready to go to work so i know we missed a video last sunday and i'll explain to you guys later on in the video but if you follow me on ig you already have an idea of what happened so this is just one of those weeks that everything just went hey um just things it was just um a really sad week for me on friday but i'll explain to you guys later on but all is well um right now so um i just wanted to quickly share with you guys my current read and it's a really interesting book and um so it's this one so i'm just finishing up on my coco and i decided let me just read a chapter um it's called the rules of work by richard templar so this is how the book is and one of the rules for the funny thing is one of the rules of um this book is don't share that you read this book <laughs> it's like rule number i don't know if you can find it i, I understand why they say that but i mean um let's support each other I, uh, ladies i would highly highly recommend you look for this book and you read it it will uh, really help you um grow professionally i'm just continuing reading it uh, let me see where it said don't share or tell people that you read this book but i thought let me share with you guys um i know it's going to help so many of you here hey guys so um heading home and where are these tissues this place need to buy others So I want to leave and uh, I'm from the bank. I left the office like 45 minutes ago. I've stayed at the bank so I want to go fuel this car, um, check pressure on the tires and go to the car wash then go home. Yes and I haven't pumped milk but I don't feel like I have milk. I don't know what's happening. My my milk supply any um let me go okay even told someone i i left the office kitambo <laughs> nasija I'm sleepy, you people. Sleepy. <laughs> and let me go in your um my music phone, like I always say. Let me leave. We will talk later. Waiting for these people to move this car for me. Hey, so I want to stop by here and get pizza pie, and because um, I'm going to the car wash, and I'm really hungry. So let me just grab a snack. Mondays is the only day I get to do these kind of errands, like go to 
the car wash few as in just do some funny funny to errands because uh, the other day bag is around my day bag is around so uh, my nanny will look after the, the kid and the day bag will will clean the house so it's the only days I get to do these two errands now let me tell you people my, my foot still has like muscle memory of the old car because I like a, when I'm climbing a hill the lighting is so bad let me just remove it here So I'm saying like when I'm climbing a hill, um, like when the road is hilly, I know I used to, I, I'm used to like the other car not going up because it didn't have like power to go up a hill fast. So right now I was coming up and the road was hilly, I was like, what am I doing? I have a car that can go up <laughs> Missouri. So I'm causing traffic behind. And as in like muscle memory for driving the other car, I jatoka kabisa kabisa. I still think like I don't have power to, you know, accelerate up a hill uh, fast. So let me do that. So I couldn't resist the extra um, seasoning fries. <laughs> uh, I really miss the space. Kati kati. Have you guys ever hidden your cut out at away when you were party? Johnny took a quahi. Man, it's hot. Kumeja, should they come tomorrow? Hmm? Sasa? Kumeja? Eh? Wapi? Kumeja? Aye, Santi. Sasa? Yeah. Um, ni jazi, eh? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ni jazi. So today I woke up um, early to go to Lux Nails Parlor. Uh, I went specifically for the signature pedicure. You know the one that I posted in my previous vlogs. Um, the one that they soak your feet. Um, they wrap and soak your feet for like 20 minutes. I'm telling you guys this is the best, best pedicure I've ever had. I don't know what, I don't know what this is <laughs> that they usually do or apply to my legs. But my legs are usually very soft. The massage is awesome i'm telling you guys this is just therapeutic huh? even if I, I i don't even know how to explain to you guys um just try and get this pedicure even if it's just once <laughs> or twice in a year just try and get this pedicure this is the best pedicure i've ever had you leave that place feeling really really awesome and relaxed so um i'll highly 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 recommend it guys I, I felt like returning back and just like the next day and just having this pedicure again if i could go weekly to get this pedicure done. <laughs> well i know the people who have done it can testify that this is just such an amazing feeling so this time i went with all white i'm going to share with you guys later on in the video 
he did white on my toes and white on my uh, nails my hands um, I had really really missed white by the way and since it was my birthday week I just um, needed to do something extremely cute that I had really really missed and whoa now even editing this video I just want to go back um, and uh, get this pedicure this is sunscreen by the way he's applying on my feet before he puts me on the uv before he puts me on the uv lamp So just got home, showered, um, quick update on the nails, this is what I went with, so beautiful. So I have them done by Freddy, um, I really love the gold detail, I don't know if it will focus again, yeah, I really love the artwork on these um, ring fingers. So I have them done by Freddy and on my feet I have a white but it's a white with like a tint of it's like an off white <laughs> I've had it before so let me just show you for my feet but that's what I had done um, at Lux Nails Parlor and I love them we are back to our almond shape design love them so much <laughs> As for my feet, we just went with plain white. I had really missed white, you guys, so much. Hey, um, don't mind my shagginess. Um, I just realized that I don't have like um loungewear, and I think I mentioned this in my last vlog that I don't have like loungewear to do, just do errands with. So I got a couple of um, sweatpants sets uh, from. Um, Sassy collection so she just brought a few that I want to Pima and um, the ones that won't fit I'll just return back so the first one is this lovely blue one so let me show you how it looks so this is the first one this lovely blue I love this the fitting also um, it's really really comfortable so this is the kind of like lounge where i've been looking for to like wear with um sandals and you can just go for your errands and stuff so let me show you the other ones that she's just brought and then um this is definitely i'm picking this one um love this this is what i've been looking for so what i'll do um so she sent like the, there are two more that I had so there are two more that she had um, sent but they don't fit me well so what I'm going to do is she's going to bring others a bigger size tomorrow so I'm just going to show you guys also tomorrow the ones that I take but if I have like four to five I think I'll be okay I'll have like enough um loungewear i've really really been looking for these sets and i've been seeing them but i think i've been ignoring them 
So right now is when I'm like, oh, I need comfortable like sweatpants because I was telling you and my happy like you'll find a worn your sweatpants by the way. But if I don't get um on Saturday we are going shopping with my sisters. I may pass by Waikiki or Mr. Price and just focus on getting like laundry. But I really love love these ones. So let me show you guys the other ones. This one is nice, but the top is tight, like on my arms. It's really tight. This is how it looks. So I'm just going to ask if there's a bigger um, size for this. Because I really like it. Hey guys, so I just I was um I got from work and went home. Then as I was uh feeding my son, it just hit me that I had ordered a birthday cake for someone <laughs> and I had completely forgotten and I was supposed to pick it up uh when I left for when I got home when I was coming back home from work. So I was supposed to pick it on my way back home. And I completely forgot. So this is the time I'm remembering that I was supposed to uh, pick a birthday cake. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave. Um, so I'm, I'm going to, since I'm leaving the house, I've decided let me do my uh, monthly shopping. So I'm just going to go to Carrefour and go pick the cake. Hopefully I won't um, get um, the rush hour traffic. I have a feeling I'll get the rush hour traffic. Um, I'm holding a spoon because I'm want to take uh, yogurt I haven't had lunch but I'll grab something to eat I'll grab like a sandwich to eat so I only take like the clean natural one while we are at it thank you thank you guys so much for the lovely um what is it called advice you gave me on my sugar levels I really appreciate especially two of you I don't know if I can find those messages and just attach them somewhere here in case there's someone else who's suffering um from the same thing that i'm going through and you guys gave me very sound advice and i wish i can like attach them because i've been following that advice and it has really really worked uh for me sana uh, my sugar levels have really sub um gone as in they're okay and then while we're at that at that topic i think i made an error um guys i'm not diabetic and i'm really praying that i don't get to that level and i don't mean to offend anyone here who's uh diabetic i'm really sorry for that uh, i'm just saying um when i was talking about my sugar levels like my fasting sugar levels were coming to around 6 6.2 to 6.5 if you google that is almost like pre-diabetic huh? but it's not for the diabetic it's not a diabetic level so um right now like today um i stopped taking my hot cocoa and chocolate at night so when i only take uh, when i take supper i take supper early and then i drink water alone then before i go to bed i drink hot water so that way i don't take any milk or cocoa or anything at night and that one has really really helped me with waking up with um awesome sugar levels uh, taking my supper early and drinking water at night because i used to drink um drinking chocolate at night at 1 a.m at 4 a.m even 4 a.m i'll wake up and take like drinking chocolate and salmon so you see there's no way you can wake up with good sugar levels when you do such a thing so yeah for snacking i take plain natural yogurt i add berries here yeah, the only fruit i'm taking right now is berries and apples yeah. oh. Let me leave because the more I'm here talking to you guys, the more traffic is um, catching up with me. 
we put some music on when did we get to eight percent uh, So my cake is not even here yet. Yeah, so I'm thinking. Um, I'm seeing there's a, like a, a restaurant there. I don't know if I should go and grab something as I wait because I have to wait. Um, there's no other option. I'll have to wait for it. Uh, let me go check. Let me zunguka this place. It's called. I think Gigiri Box Park or something. So let me just um I, I even got lost because I thought they were in the old building. They used to be like in the next I think business center or something. So let me just go here and try and find something to eat. Because now what is this? Hmm. So they just delivered the cake. Um actually on time I had forgotten it's me who said I'm coming. Um, at a certain time so the cake is here and you have to um, I'm to put it on the floor so I'll show it um, to you guys when I go home I think I need to get a steering cover this car came with a steering so because the steering looks really really bad so i'm just seeing it on the camera and last time when i was editing i also noticed the same thing so let me i want to eat before i go home so this is the sandwich i've gotten so this i think is a sweet chili um chicken they call it a sandwich but it looks more of like a bun uh, with chicken inside so the place is called bow buns and wings it's here at um Stopping by here. <laughs> mm. Mm. Cheers. Good stuff. Hey, so this is the next day, and I'm getting ready to go to work. This is Friday, actually, my birthday when things went just haywire. This is the day when things just went haywire. So I'm getting ready in the living room because my son is asleep in the bedroom. Uh, same to my hubby, and I don't want to like uh, put perfume uh, on in the bedroom because it will kind of congest him um, because they are really strong and I don't want to open the windows this early in the morning in the room so I normally come to the living room to do this so yes like I said it's Friday and I'm heading to work and I was expecting this day to end really really differently but um, sadly it didn't meeting at um, 9 that I need to prep with to prep for and it's 
Checking the calendar for the date and it's my birthday. <laughs> guys um <laughs> today is sunday and <sighs> let me tell you the last um is adding a bit of color to my lips the last two days have been hectic especially friday which was my birthday uh, if you follow me on ig you already have like an idea of what happened so just as i was filming um prepping for the meeting that i was going for so i had just finished like prepping for the meeting and i was heading for the meeting then i received a call from me happy she's he's like um pack your stuff uh we need to go to the hospital we need meet me at the hospital um our son is not feeling well so i'm like as in what's happening what is what is he feeling as in what is going on and he didn't want to tell me exactly what <laughs> had happened because he knew i'll panic which is true which i panicked a lot so apparently my nanny my ex nanny um burnt my baby with hot water uh on the foot the right foot the entire right foot i will attach a photo here but i know some of you will get all cringed up 
So the fact that uh he well, that was really scary. So they were sterilizing his bottle so that he can feed him milk and then um he was holding my son. She was holding my son and then um she was doing the sterilizing of the bottles with his other hand. So my son was kind of seated on the counter but she was also holding him now the thing that made me i get sometimes such things happen such accidents happen but the thing that made me fire her was one my happy was home my happy had traveled the day before so he was home he was asleep he was exhausted because he came late at night so he was asleep in the room and the thing that made me fire that girl was one she lied two she tried to cover up what she had done so i get it was an accident yes accidents do happen but one you know my hub is in the house you didn't bother to come immediately she would have come immediately and woken up my happy so it's my baby's cries that actually woke my happy my happy was like i know your clear it's too much so he woke up he went took the baby a kamuliza what has happened she's like at him to mkono so my hubby takes the baby and the baby is still not you know coming down still crying very much so now my hubby is trying to like uh, make the baby stand on his lap Kumbe Sayo, he's making more pain on the foot. Hadrini mku. Mtoto wa michomeka mku. So by the time my hubby is realizing. Ni mtoto wa michomeka mku. Yani this nani. Even when I'm just telling you guys this story. Na kasiri kegan mo. By the time even my neighbors are coming. You can imagine how much this cowboy was crying. Mm. and then you have the audacity to lie as in where? so you just say you say pole tulikuwa kitchen tunafanya hivi maji kamwagikia as in it was an accident and then she was standing in such a way we can't on the cameras we could only see her back we couldn't see like exactly what they were doing so we couldn't like see exactly what like we tried to do like a playback on the video and see what was happening and we couldn't um see exactly okay i'm seeing my my new nanny here feeding the baby so let me just put this one here so we couldn't see exactly what happened but you can see the exact moment in um a little maker so yeah we had to rush him to hospital he got treated he was given painkillers um by the time we were coming back he wasn't in any kind of pain uh even now he's not in any pain but the burn is why <sighs> if it was an adult it would be excruciating pain I always say what to tell you, Mungu. Where me, as I just reached home and I told her, please pack your things and go. Not because, yes, I understand accidents happen, but it's how you reacted after the accident. It's how you lied to both my happy, you lied to my neighbor, you lied to literally, you just lied and tried to cover up what you had done. I rather she would have just come and said Araka accident Ibefanika, they know what to do, you know, treat and first aid Araka. Yeah, she decided to cover it up and lie. Hmm? So I decided so may have called me the office, so I left hey, and this is the time as I was driving to the hospital and then I realized I was like thank god I have a sports car. So I removed like I always drive my car with the eco mode. So I remove the eco mode of the car uh, so that I can reach the hospital. You know when you remove the eco mode it it goes. So I remove the eco mode where that car accelerated in Karudisha eco. 
wish I could interest myself with the commod um off. So that is what happened. That's why we didn't have a video um mm -hmm. last Sunday. Uh, this Sunday, okay, I'm filming in the day that the video is supposed to have gone up, so that's why we didn't have a video last Sunday. That's why I don't have any clips of like uh, my birthday. We didn't even end up going for like my birthday dinner. I literally, didn't even celebrate my birthday at all. I didn't do anything at all, at all, at all on my birthday. As in, I was just now I have a new nanny. Uh, we went back to Jaza Center. Uh, we explained to them what had happened. I like just a center because they take feedback uh, very seriously. So we explained to them what had happened with the previous nanny and why we had to let her go. And um, they gave us three other nannies to interview. We interviewed and we got one. So now I got like a more mature uh, lady. She's really nice. She's really neat. She's the way even she's carrying herself. She's she's neat so anyway um we, we just got from we just went uh to the hospital for um his leg to be dressed again they usually wash the dead skin then they dress him again so i also have to go back tomorrow also for that but i wanted to do a small haul for you guys for some of the things that i got from miniso we decided to just uh pop by miniso a bit so I saw this like plastic um, headbands. I thought this ones really look really cute. Um, again, I keep losing hairbands in this house. So I saw these ones and I couldn't resist. Um, they're really cute. Then I saw these hair clips, the star ones. I think they were going for like 300 and something. Then I saw this one, um, the orange and this um, green. Oh, this one is really cute. I really love this one and i think they have other colors so the other thing i got from miniso was um this makeup brush cleaner i normally don't have one so i decided to grab one because i usually use my hands so this is the one that i got from miniso i don't know what the back part is for because it's also like spongish okay i'll figure it out then i got these hair the hair rollers they're interesting because they come with a clip so they come like three of them and they have this clip instead of that um what is it called the the castic that usually goes through the rollers so i just got three of them this cassette because like when you want to do like a curl on like the front part of your weave alone so yeah, that's a really nice idea also got this oh, kit set so there's this and there's this one so there's a kayelo one you know me i can't resist <laughs> yellow and purple and this um orange then i got a fan for my dressing table sometimes you leave the shower and you're feeling so hot and you're like your hair and stuff as in you're feeling so much heat you're sweating on your face you can't even apply anything on so i decided to get a fan for my dressing table and i got this um it's like orangish pinkish it has some weird color and it has a stun yeah, it comes with a castan. So I think it uses battery. No, this one is for charging. So I'll charge it and put it on my dressing table. And then I got this really cute torch. So this one I want to put it in my car. I usually advise to have a torch in your car. So I don't know how bright it is. <laughs> I just got it for the cuteness. So this is a torch, guys. Yeah. So I got it. Um, they have other colors, by the way. So I'm going to put batteries on it and put it in my car. Usually, at best, to have uh, a torch in your car. So let me. Yeah. And then the last thing I got from Miso was a mirror. 
So I realized that the mirror that I have on my dressing table is a bit far. So sometimes I go to like a, a mirror that's close to me, like the the small one that I have on my handbag, and I can see like my eyebrows are not done, or I have like facial hair zuku, just because I didn't see it vizuri on the on the mirror that was that is far. So I had to get like a mirror that I can hold very close to my face. I don't know if that makes sense, it makes sense. I know most of it makes sense. So I got this one that lights up. So I'm going to put batteries on it and then I'll show you guys how it looks and it has a stand. So I'm just going to show you guys how they look on my stand. So yeah, I'll be right back. I've put the batteries. Um, I've returned the battery. I've had it return. I've put the battery on the torch and it's, it's kind of bright. Uh, so it's not just like a tiny cute thing. It's actually really bright. Um, so I'll put that in the car and then um, I'm having pizza here. <laughs> I'm having this place is called Okay, I have no idea what this place is called. So that's a box. The pizza is mm. The pizza is amazing and this is just a vegetarian one it's a mushroom one mm. this is the best pizza i've ever had mm. i only got like a tiny one it was meant to be lunch and it's four o'clock So, um, let me show you guys how the dressing table looks now. Um, so now I have this camera. It lights up. So I'll be able to like see <laughs> my face in detail. I won't have to go like with um crusty looking face. And then, then now this is like a fan. Um, and this fan lights up. Oh yeah. Nice. Interesting. Yeah, and I have the kafan there. So, I'm a very, I'm a very funny person because you guys just saw me decluttering my dressing table, and here I am adding things to it. Anyway, I guess I've just realized I'm a gully, gully, gully person because <laughs> honestly. This is just too girly girly. <laughs> so I got um I had ordered th three bags. One is from Denry. I realized apart from like my work bags, I don't have like tiny bags to go for errands with. And I think I had mentioned that in my uh, vlogs. So I got this lovely black one from Denry. Um I saw she they had it in like pink. And I think the mustard, but I think the pink one is sold out. So I only got it in like um, this black. So it's small enough for like errands or just anywhere that you're going that is not um, work. And then I got two other ones. So this that one. And then I got two other ones from a shop called, is it called Pazuri or something? So this is um, Calabli pinkish one it's really small this is more like for lunch or date night um, or brunch <laughs> uh, it has like a long gold strap so I got this one and I got a brown one and I got this um, nudish brown one uh, it also has a long strap does this thing even open Oh, you turn. Oh. oh, this one is nice. I hadn't even opened it inside. So this one has like two sections inside with a zip in the middle. And like I said, it also has a long strap. Yeah, so those are the two, three bags that I got. Um, so I went grocery shopping for my breakfast stuff. So here basically I just have vegetables, fruits and meat. So basically I'll just be taking like vegetables and meat and fruits for breakfast. Mm. 
my breakfast for today oh, my breakfast for today <laughs> so i'm having boiled uh sweet corn and fried beef uh, my new nanny is not joking with <laughs> my health i know this is also starch but it's a healthier starch than bread so yeah uh, one of you actually advised me to be getting so i was saying one of you actually advised me to be getting healthier starch um not to like remove them completely from my food but to do like um small portions of like ndoma ngwashi brown rice um you know those nice healthy healthy um starch so let me have my breakfast and then i have a lot of work to do so i don't think i'll be vlogging today so for a snack um i'm having bio natural uh, yogurt and here i've mixed let me open this mixed um berries blueberries and strawberries so i told you guys this is only fruit i can take plus apples so i'm going just to pour this yogurt here and have it as a snack hey um i can please excuse my room <laughs> please excuse my room my room is really really dirty not dirty it's untidy um so I got a package from Tender Moms. So I got a package from Tender Moms. Um, it's a it's a breast pump. Um, so I just got home from work and I haven't showered. So I just changed like uh, my blouse so that I can breastfeed my son because the other one was had so much perfume. So um, he was a bit uneasy today. It's actually 6.30 and I haven't showered, I haven't eaten lunch. Um, so he's been a bit uneasy actually. I think I should give him a painkiller. I don't know. I should probably. So I have a package here for tender moms. So she gifted me a breast pump. And it's a wearable ones and this one will be so awesome for the office because um, again it's wearable you just wear it underneath your clothes um, it's compact Vizuri so I want to try it out not today I think I'll try it out either tomorrow let me go give my son painkiller then come um, oh, let me first order supper so that is done hi hi um i would like to order a delivery mm -hmm. um one chicken cashew nut mm -hmm. with fried uh, rice mm -hmm fried vegetable rice and then uh, another fried vegetable rice with the two sizzling beefs two sizzling beef. yeah so two sizzling beefs uh, one chicken cashew nuts uh, no two fried rice <laughs> and uh, one chicken cashew nuts and two sizzling beefs okay yeah okay All right. thank you I had forgotten to do that. <laughs> so, so I've just told my nanny to watch um, him so that I can do this quickly and shower. <laughs> and shower, because why? Anyway, I'm also exhausted. So this is how it comes, the, the breast pump. And I think you can see a pic of how it looks. So this is from Tender Moms. So I'm seeing there's a charger here and the instructions and then this is how it looks. So each pump has its own like um, charging uh, port like where the it has its own like a uh, power power whatever. <laughs> 
uh, and then the controls of course are down here and then now you put it um, so now I'm wondering so let me just sit down read to the manual and then when I'm using it for the first time I'm going to show you guys on camera how it is but this is how it is see how compact this is as in I can literally put it on my blouse and then leave it at work and just pump in peace oh, sorry this is breast milk anyway <laughs> so they come two of them um oh. and then she gifted me something that i'm extremely excited about so she also gifted me the milk storage uh, bottles i wish i had this set uh when <laughs> um during my maternity leave this one would have come in handy so much when my milk supply was a lot so she also gifted me this set it comes with three bottles so i'm going to show you so this is the bag for putting the bottles so my friend my colleague had actually gifted me this bag so i was using um a bag that my colleague had given me so now i have oh kwanza has his big this is awesome this is my lunch bag plus for carrying breast milk so you don't need to carry like two different bags so here is the cooler so this part you put water and you put it inside your freezer so you can also put the entire bag inside the freezer but it depends because this one now it's not detachable i would have put the the top part of it the entire top part of it in the freezer so i'm just going to put water here then put it in the freezer then in the morning you pick it uh, put it in the bag now when you you've pumped your milk you put it in these two bottles and you put it now inside here yeah, so you see it has space for three bottles so it's very convenient oh this is so nice i didn't have one on my for myself like i said i was using a colleague's so this is so nice ah oh, tender moms thank you so much this is an amazing gift i've been struggling with pumping at work and that is the one thing that made me lose uh, milk but you can see milk is coming back to this book that had lost milk so i'm really excited to pump at work now oh this is such a nice set and it comes with a long strap um the bag so i can put my lunch here and carry my breast milk here this is so nice it's such a beautiful gift thank you so much tender moms so I'm, I'm going to take this to the kitchen to be washed and sterilized um the bag also has to be wiped like inside same to the pump i read the manual on how to use it and then when i use it uh, by the time this i'm uploading this video and i've used it i'll actually want to cut it tomorrow to work so by the time that is done i will show you guys how to use the pump but oh, this is so nice it's such a lovely gift so it has like pockets it has sides um you can use on the side it has this front one and it has this cup pocket here and here i've been looking for this set for such a long time this is awesome thank you thank you guys so much so yeah let me go shower even this uh battery in uh isha so let me shower and then I'll talk to you guys later when I'm trying out the pump. So today is Thursday and it's a holiday. So me and my hubby, we decided to just leave the house and go just have fun. Because one, we missed uh, both our birthdays. We missed celebrating our anniversary because um, we just had to stay home with our son. So today being a holiday, we just decided um, since we've uh, gotten a good nanny, we decided just to leave the baby for a few hours and just go outside and just do something, um, the two of us. So here I'm just getting ready. And finally, I removed the, my Adidas sneakers from... Um, 
the box and wore them today so basically we went to the park we started the morning by going to the park we've gone to the park so many times but um it's it's a bit therapeutic going to the national park just breathing in the fresh air seeing the animals but specifically we went to hunt for like um lions we wanted to see lions we didn't manage to see any lion but we saw a lioness um just one for a few seconds then it hid <laughs> but um it was really really fun because a team of us we just met some guys on the park and we decided just to go hunting and look for lions um so it was really a very interesting day at some point i stopped vlogging and decided just to take in the day and have fun and you know just uh live in the moment and not vlog anything so past a certain point the video just ends because I didn't vlog the rest of the day um so after we went to the park um we actually stayed in the park for a while we didn't expect to stay in the park that long <laughs> but we were having so much fun um hunting for the lion like i said and uh, lions like i said and um just spending time in the water uh, areas so it was really fun i really had fun this day so we ended up uh going to emara for um drinks or lesereni uh for some drinks then after that we just wanted to experience you know that um having drinks overlooking the park it's such a beautiful spot by the way then um after we had drinks we decided to eat go have lunch so we were having lunch at around 4 p.m so we went to fugo Kaucho and we had our lunch quickly then we rushed home um to shower time with my son and put him to bed so it was a really really awesome day we spent the morning just us two basically we spent the entire day just us two it was really fun getting out of the house and just doing something different after having such a difficult uh last like three or four days but um yeah this was really awesome um I, i've gone to the park so many times but it's always therapeutic every time you just revisit it and go so also hey's to everyone that i met <laughs> this day i met so many of you guys by the this day so just saying hey back and thank you for saying hi so yeah this is it for this video thank you so much for watching guys and i'll talk to you guys in my next video